What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk about the six new Karina challenges that we just got. And uh, what am I going to do personally? So what am I going to do? I'm going to take my time on this. Because the rewards are good, but they are not as crazy so that I would need to spend units on that. So I would slowly farm up some revives, farm up my, my uh, free crystals, my health potions, and just do this whenever, whenever I want to. Because there's also some champions that I don't really want to take up as 6 stars. But I could wait for them uh, to go into the base pool so I can get them. So if we jump into the base pool right now. The only two champions that he could use from the base pool right now is Ant-Man and Hawkeye. I have a duped Ant-Man because I picked him from the selector. Which, you know, pretty lucky. And then I also duped him. And then Hawkeye. So Hawkeye, you know, if we jump into Mike's challenge. You would need to defeat... Uh, Nick Fury, basically like the whole gauntlet except uh, Thanos with Iron Man, Thor, Black Widow, Hawkeye, and Ant-Man, your team. So Hawkeye is not really the most useful champion. If you have racked up Black Widow, you don't really want him because, you know, some fights that he can do, the opponent is just bleeding him. So like if you try and use him against Piggy, where, you know, you can just use him for the slow, you can't because Piggy is immune to debuffs. So that kind of sucks. And then if you want to use him for Korg, where he does have a slow and he just prevents Mixed Master, Korg is bleeding you, so he just can't do much. So what I recommend is because Black Widow is not a 7 star, and I don't think she's going to become a 7 star anytime soon because she's not really the best, uh, I would take uh, 6 or Black Widow up. I would definitely sick her up, put a uh, Black Hat Relic on her, and just do a couple of fights because she can handle Korg really well. I believe Mike soloed Korg. He soloed Piggy. Slow fight because of the AI is super passive. But she can do this. She can definitely do this. She's also good for the evaders. Uh, so I do not really recommend using Hawkeye. Hawkeye is like pretty decent for like that Black Panther. I think Civil War because he's got Footloose. I don't see another good use for him though. Ant-Man is definitely the most important for this team though. And that's good because he's already in the base pool. Because Ant-Man does two of the most dangerous fights he does mojo where if you die multiple times you're just gonna die even more because he's got the precision charges and they just degen even faster when you enter the fight so that's one of the most dangerous fights the second most dangerous fight which is probably the hardest fight in the whole gauntlet is sasquatch because sasquatch if you don't have a counter you're stuck there's no way you get past through this big sasquatch with, with a million hp and iron man cannot do the fight sasquatch is immune to armor break Thor, same thing. Black Widow just doesn't have debuffs to like prevent willpower, sorry, prevent uh, the region with despair. Hawkeye just doesn't have enough debuffs. Ant-Man is literally the only one that can do Sasquatch. So he is very, very important for that team. Um, the one champion that I don't think is super important is Thor. Because, you know, I was watching Mike. He did solo like Killmonger, Vision, and Terex with Thor. However, Thor... He's not really too helpful outside this challenge, and he does need the Sig 200. So I don't think I would rack up mine, but I'm definitely going to take up Black Widow, because like I said, Black Widow can do like Korg. And Korg, if I want to do that with like Hawkeye, Iron Man, or Ant-Man, I'm going to struggle, because Korg is like the, the, the second hardest fight in the gauntlet after, uh, after Sasquatch, in my opinion. So I would kind of I would say that you need Black Widow to do this in like good amount of revives i want to say because if you don't have that black widow i think it's gonna cost a ton more because like i said that piggy and cork they, they can't be really annoying uh and then i'm really happy that i have an iron man so if you don't have an iron man he's now in the titan pool but the good thing is those guys were in the titan pool as well uh you know months ago so the more you wait the more the base pool is getting get increased and then you have you're, you're going to have your Iron Mans there. You're going to have your Jabari's there, which, you know, Jabari and Iron Man, they're both in Titan Pool. But in a couple of months or so, they are going to get added to the base pool. And you might get lucky to pull them, which is going to make your challenges a lot faster. So what I'm trying to say here is you don't really need to rush anything. Because, like I said, if you don't want to rank up that 6-star Jabari, you might just wait for the 7-star until you get the 7-star. Or same thing with Iron Man. Um, and then for, for, for the one that Zemo, 
uh, that you gotta use like all Zemos. <laughs> this is a bit of a hilarious challenge. It's, it's kind of fun. It's definitely gonna cost you some revives because you know, it's really, really tough. If you Even if you pick one champion from your choice, from like all those 260 champions that we have in the game, even one champion, even Hercules, is gonna struggle for the whole gauntlet. Like you're not gonna do everything itemless. Uh, so, you know, it, it's going to be a little bit hard with Zemo. I think Mike used like 15 revives or so, which wasn't bad. Definitely wasn't bad. And I believe he wasn't even boosted at some point. So, you know, that, that challenge, definitely farm up some revives and do it. Uh, unfortunately here, you have to rack up a, a Zemo. I don't know if I got a 6 of Zemo myself, so I might just have to wait until I get him. So that's one year where you need to rack up that uh, Zemo because he's not even a 7 star. However, this mojo where you need to do... Uh, Grief Incarnate Dragon Man with only Mojo. That's a tough one too, but Mojo is actually not that rare. He's not as rare as Iron Man and Jabari because you can get him from the Incursus Crystals because there's like one out of six uh, champions there where you can get that Mojo. And if you were doing incursions consistently, you, I think you can open three crystals uh, so far uh, until that uh, has been added. So Mojo is a seven star. If you want to wait, you might get lucky. It's like definitely the easiest... Uh, or highest chance you get that seven star so that's what i'm probably gonna do i don't know if i'm gonna take up my six star mojo i'm probably gonna wait until i get a seven star because i'll be opening incursions crystals and you know maybe i just i just take them and the good thing about seven stars they're pretty op so they're like the power level of a six rank four and those challenges are definitely possible with a six rank four you might need a couple more revives than like rank five six to hundred but it's possible now this Tiger with Jabari, this is actually going to be like a really interesting one because I really like using Tigra. And if you don't have a Tiger, you're a Tiger yourself. If you log into the game today, you get to actually select a 6-star Luke Cage, a 6-star Tiger, or a 6-star Iron Man. So if you don't have that Tiger, you can just get her from there. And honestly, you should not even be worried about seeking up Tigra because, dude, this challenge, if it makes you seek up your Tiger, oh, it, it just... It's just gonna save you a ton a ton of uh stress from fighting like maestros onslaught she can just handle so many things so definitely just rank up the tigress she's she's pretty op then don't do it just for this challenge but even if you do it for this challenge you just did yourself a favor there uh and then jabari you know jabari you can't do everything with tiger so you would need jabari there so I'm not really sure if I want to take up that Jabari. So I might just wait until she gets added to the baseball. Or maybe I can get her from the Titan Crystal. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with that. But Phoenix Challengers are probably going to be the ones that I'm going to leave for last. I would say. But yeah, what am I trying to say here? That you don't have to rush this. Like, I am personally not going to rush it. The only thing I'm going to do on my on both of my accounts is Lagos' Challenge. Because you only have to rank up like one champion and do like two quests it's like definitely the, the, the easiest one obviously and yeah that way you can get your uh your uh seven star king Groot piece which it's cool you know so yeah that's definitely what i'm gonna do i think i might just use some revives i think the only problem with this challenge is you know 7.3 kang when you dex you get a bar of power and when you block your specials you lose bar of power so if you try to like block uh, Starkey might just auto evade and kind of like mess you up. So there's, there might be some revives used there, but it's definitely the easiest one. And also another thing I want to talk about when FinTech, Curtain Mike and Legacy, uh, chose to do this, it was like six months ago. So they knew nothing about revive nerfing. So yeah, please just don't be like toxic to them because it's just, you know, they knew some people most people would use revives here because you know everyone here they tested their own challenges and i think fintech said in forums that for this jabari and uh, tiger one which is a pretty tough one he said that you can solo every single fight with the right strategy masteries boosts and all that stuff uh but you know obviously he knows not everyone is as skilled as him so people would use revives but then they drop the revive nerf so that just makes it even harder for, for Legacy Mike and Fintech to just handle all of this. So yeah, just please, please just don't be mad at them because, you know, things happen. But yeah, I do not want to drag this for too much longer. What am I going to do? I am just going to do for both of my accounts, both of Legacy's challenges. 
uh, get my kink root, get that emote, and also get the 5,000 seven star shards. Might actually allow me to open a seven star. And then I think the next one I'm, I'm gonna do slowly by farming revives is this one uh, on my main account for sure, the Nick Fury one, because I do have Thor Black Widow. I have a seven star rank two Iron Man, and uh, I am thinking of maybe taking up Ant Man to rank two because I kind of wanted to. He's also duped. He's kind of like a dual threat in PGs. So I'm definitely going to be using my Iron Man. I have to sig up my Black Widow because I think it's just going to make it a lot less stressful. I do not want to fight a cord with block penetration mix master with like someone that's not ideal. So I'm probably going to just rank up that Black Widow, not rank up Hawkeye, not rank up Thor. I'm just going to use Ant-Man, Iron Man and Black Widow for it. That's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, and then I think if I have a 6 or Zemo, I might just take him to rank 5, rank 4. Uh, maybe even a rank 4 can do it, but it's going to be a little bit harder. So yeah, I'm definitely going to leave uh, Fintex challenges for last. Unless I get like a 7 star Jabari for my Titan Crystal. Because, you know, my Tiger is just max rank. And I wanted to ascend her too. So she's probably going to be my second next ascension. I want to take up Iceman and then Tigra. Before I end this, I wanted to compare those challenges to Winter of Glow. Why do you think that everyone was like, like very, very pissed when Winter of War was like super tough with like the Robo Challenge? And then actually Kabam had to take action on that. Because it lasts for two weeks. If you don't have a good robot, you just can't do it. That's why they did this, man. It's like, and, and like, even if you get the best robot, it's pretty tough. So like in two weeks, you have to do all that. That's why they took action on this. But here they don't have to do anything because it's just, it's just there forever, man. You can do it like a year from now. Who cares? And then 7 stars are still going to be relevant a year from now, you know? Like, you can get that Starkey, you can get that Massacre or Spider-Man 299 in a year from now. Who cares? Like, they're not as OP as, like, Maestro, where you, like, you need to have them. So, like, Exploring Acropolis 100%. But, yeah. That is my take on this. I am going to be taking this as slow as possible. Just going to slowly farm up my revives. Get some from uh, Hero Use. You know, all those 22-hour challenges. Try to farm up the Apothecary every day, if I remember. Uh, and yeah, just take your time. You don't have to do this day one. The rewards are good. They are not game-changing, though. If you see a 7 star Massacre or a 7 star Starkey, you might be jealous. But it's not the end of the war. Like, it's just, you know, just take your time. <laughs> like, there's no need to be toxic about it. So, you know, eventually we're all going to do those challenges. And then we're actually going to have some fun. I am pretty sure. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about the challenges. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.